Hello viewers, we are at Hilton Hotel Brampton today where uh, uh, Premier Doug Ford is expected anytime. He is going to make some announcements regarding his meetings with all the other premiers of the provinces and what is the way forward in this province. So just have a look. Great meeting uh, today of all the premiers across this this nation, and and uh, we we discussed the priorities, the priorities we feel that would benefit uh, all all provinces, all ten provinces, and, and three territories. We we focus on economic development, and we also focused on on uh, the transfers, be it healthcare or infrastructure. It's absolutely critical. Uh, we we need the support. All provinces need the support on their health care, in our case, to end hallway health care. We can't go it alone. We need their support. We're asking the escalator to be uh, from 3% up to 5.2%. And uh, we also are focusing on the uh, stabilization fund that helps provinces when they're uh, finding it very tough. And we have three provinces that are, are finding very tough economically right now, and that's Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Newfoundland. and. Uh, I think a clear message uh, went out to the entire country. When some of our provinces are finding difficulties out there, we all come together and we and we support them. We support them any any way we can, and we have a, a united group of uh, premiers sending a, a very clear message. Uh, when they go back to their home, uh, they they'll feel comfortable, and we're giving certainty to the people back in the provinces. We're giving certainty right across this country after a very divided uh, election. And most importantly, uh, we're giving certainty to the rest of the world that we may have our differences as a country, but when it, when it comes to supporting each other, we're a nation united. And uh, we also, uh, I think, sent a, a message to the federal government that uh, we look forward to working with them, but um, we, we have very strong allies when it comes to the premiers, and it doesn't matter what political uh, stripe we we come from, uh, we're a united country. Premier, I'm Shazia Malik from yes. uh, a Weekly Voice newspaper. I'm the associate editor. Um, I'm very happy to know that you have brought some uh, investment from India. Yes. But in the last uh, few, uh, maybe not really months, years, we have seen flight of investment from Ontario. Hmm. Hundreds of stores have been shut down. I'm sorry. Even this morning, Husky has announced to cut 350. Uh, jobs, Lowe's just a few days back is, has announced that it is shutting down 37 stores. So my question is, the pace at which uh, we have seen flight of capital, mm -hmm. we are not seeing the same pace at which the uh, investment is coming in this province. And yeah. also we see that the prov province's focus, just like the country's focus also is on just about three countries, India, China, USA. I would like to know what other countries the province is interested or is looking at bringing investments. For example, the Middle East, the rich Arab countries, leaving mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia perhaps if we have differences, they can really come and invest big. So mm -hmm. two questions, at what pace the investment is coming because there are no high paying jobs over here. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, are we looking at some other countries as well for investments? Since we've taken office, there's 200 and then 252,400 more people uh, that are working now that weren't working a year and four months ago. We're leading North America in economic development, job creation. As we, we heard the, the bad news about, about Lowe's, um, and I, I, you know, I think they're a great company, but that's in, in the retail industry. Uh, we have so many jobs right now and, and good paying jobs that are, that are out there. We, we can't keep up with the demand. Uh, we saw revenues uh, jump. And in my opinion, economics is very, very simple. You want your economy to start booming, you cut red tape regulations for companies, you make it a competitive environment for companies to thrive and prosper and grow. And they can, they can reinvest into capital, reinvest into their, their people. And once you do that, companies will be attracted to this, this region. Uh, the other area is cutting taxes for, for people. We gave some of the largest tax cuts to the most vulnerable people. 
Matter of fact, the, the largest tax cut ever given to a million most vulnerable people making under $30,000, putting a little more money back in their, their pockets to a tune of about 800 and some odd dollars. We gave a tax break of 8.75% to small businesses that uh, make up the vast majority of uh, employment in this province. There's 275,000 businesses. Uh, that are getting uh, small businesses, that are getting a, a tax credit. We also put $3.8 billion into being able to write it off uh, capital equipment. As soon as you buy it, you buy a piece of equipment, a press, uh, you, you get to write it off immediately. Uh, we always have more work to do to cut regulations because cutting regulations is even better than a tax cut. But we're doing both. We're cutting regulations and, and lowering taxes. Make no mistake about it, our, our, we're an economic powerhouse in North America and uh, we're going to continue because I've never seen it so competitive. We're competing against Quebec, we're competing against Michigan, Ohio, Illinois, all the, all the southern states. Uh, there, there was one company that uh, was in, in Hamilton, uh, uh, three, uh, I, I think it's three communications, it was a big company. Uh, they were going down to Alabama, once we finished talking to them, they're going to be here again. 2,000 uh, really high-paying jobs. So uh, the pharmaceutical industries are expanding uh, in in our industry right here. Uh, the nuclear industry is is expanding. So they're all high-paying, high-tech, uh, very high-tech uh, jobs. We can't get enough of them. The banking industry. Uh, one of the the big banks came to me and said, Doug, uh, we're bringing 2,000 high paying jobs up to two hundred thousand dollars a person from around the world we're bringing it back into toronto so there's so many success stories uh very simply you create the environment for people and companies to thrive and they will they will uh grow and as i mentioned earlier 1.6 billion dollars came in to the provincial uh coffers as i as i call it so uh people more people working more taxes are coming in more companies are opening up, more taxes. So a tune of 1.6 billion of new revenues that we've never seen before. Today's meeting, how significant is that? Very important. This is an extraordinary, exceptional meeting of the Premiers. Normally they only meet once a year. This was a special one following the federal election because of the divisions in the country, especially where I come from in the West, Alberta, Saskatchewan. Um, we are in a very serious economic crisis, even though we've done so much to share prosperity across Canada. And I really appreciate my fellow premiers uh, coming together to talk about those issues here today. When we, like for example, the new uh, immigrants started coming about a few years back, uh, five, six years, let's say, it's not really very far off, uh, uh, you know, time that I'm talking about. Alberta was an extremely prosperous place. Indeed. All of a sudden, Things went topsy-turvy exactly. and uh, it was so surprising, people were so surprised, hundreds of jobs were lost. Thousands, tens of thousands of jobs. Uh, yes, so, so, and even in this federal elections, people have not been very keen uh, to vote for, uh, you know, the federal government in Saskatchewan and uh, so, so what, what, what do you think is the reason behind that? Well, the, 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 Mr. Trudeau's government uh, killed some pipelines that, here's the problem. We have the third largest oil reserves in the world. Um, worth trillions of dollars. Yeah, worth trillions of dollars. More than every country save Saudi and Venezuela. We want to develop that so that, because we think Canada is a more ethical, ethical source of energy than Saudi or the OPEC dictatorships or Russia. But we need pipelines to sell it to the world at a fair price. Mr. Trudeau killed the Northern Gateway Pipeline, killed the Energy East. Uh, Sir, and, 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 and really bungled another one, Trans Mountain, brought in laws against pipelines. And so we've ended up with an inability to get our resources to market, which has caused tens of billions of dollars of investment to flee Canada and jobs to be killed along the way. This is the reason people out West are so frustrated. Everybody, whether you're running, you know, I know so many South Asian immigrants who come there to work hard, start a small business. Many have bought hotels and restaurants and, 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 uh, uh, and work in, in the, 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 uh, the business sector. They're hurting too. Everybody's hurting. We're asking the country to help us get pipelines built and get a fair deal so we can share our resource wealth with the rest of Canada, including here in the GTA. Thank you very much for your comments and I, I really appreciate you didn't have much time but thank you very much for talking. Thank you for covering these important issues. <laughs>
viewers, uh, we hope that we got all the information that we required. So we enjoyed the press conference a lot. We hope you did also. Keep watching VN in Canada for more updates.